Well, good morning. It's March the 28th, Tuesday, about 6.30 in the morning. I wanted to uh, comment about spiritual expression. Um, it's been a few years ago now that my wife and I were on our way to the church. And uh, I said, hey, do you mind if I stopped at Sam's Taqueria and grab a taco? And she said, oh, no, I need to get to the church and take care of some things. And so we debated back and forth a little bit. And I relented and said, okay, okay. And so we were on our way to the church. But when we got to the light where if to go to the left, it was Sam's Taqueria. To go to the right, we would go to the church. I quickly turned to the left and I said, this will only take a minute. I just, I just want to get one taco. <laughs> And so my question today is, uh, were those my thoughts or was that a thought that the Lord had put into my heart to go and get a taco at Sam's Taqueria? Well, we pull into Sam's Taqueria and while we're there, or we both get out, we walk in and I walk up to the counter and I say, can I have one beef taco? And when I said that, when I asked for a one beef taco, hold a minute, I gotta turn. Just got a ding for a pickup here. Uh, so when I said that, there was a woman sitting at the table and she got up she came to my wife who was standing behind me and she said, who are you people? And she said, what do you mean? She said, when he opened his mouth and spoke, I felt the Holy Ghost. She said, I'm a backslider from Randy Keys Church in Modesto, California. So we sat down and we visited with her. It was that experience that I realized that when we are in communion with God, when we stay in communion with God, through praying in the Spirit, uh, there is, we ha the Bible says we have an unction from the Holy One. And we would assume that that would be when we're praying, when we're reading the Scripture, when we're doing something spiritual. But is it really there when we're ordering food at a restaurant? It is, it is my persuasion that when we are in communion with God and we open our mouth and speak, there is a release of spiritual utterance and it registers with the souls of humanity. And so when I get a person in my car, uh, I, I had recently just picked up earlier this morning a young man who had moved from Texas and uh, I just engaged in conversation and he was willing to engage in conversation. My persuasion is that as I spend time communicating, again, the origin is in my communion with God's Spirit, which I have been praying since I got into my car this morning at four o'clock, it's now 6.30. And in doing so, when, when I pick up an individual, uh, when, when their name comes up on my screen, like right now, a young man's name is on my screen. And so I will begin to pray for this young man. I pray the drawing of God's spirit upon his life. I pray that the conviction of the Lord would touch him, draw him. I pray that somehow in our conversation, uh, there would be a release of God's Spirit and it would begin to draw him unto repentance because God is not willing that any would perish, but that all would come to repentance. He came to seek and to save that which is lost. And so I believe in agreement in praying intercession for this individual who I'm going to pick up in nine minutes that God is interested in reaching him. He's interested in saving his soul. And the fact that a, a blood-bought, spirit-filled believer has been lifting up his name in prayer to the Lord, 
that God is interested in moving upon his life. Now, the Bible says some plant, some water, but God gives the increase. And so I'm going to believe that I am either planting, I am watering, but it will be God in his own time that will bring the increase and that he may trigger something. When I have an individual get into the car, I hand him a card. I say, would you, would you, can I give you my card? I don't call it a business card. I don't call it a church card, but it says Life Church on it. It says my, oh, Life Church. And then it says my name and phone number. And so this often serves as a trigger. Sometimes there's people that are backsliders. Sometimes there's people who are uh, just, they've been away from the Lord for a long time or they have just slid away. And so they will often uh, reflect and say, wow, I haven't been to church in a long time. Or they'll begin to have thoughts that they would not have thought this morning had they not gotten into my car and I handed them this card. And so this is what I do each morning when I go out, usually starting about four o'clock in the morning. Anyway, let me leave that with you. Spiritual utterance, spiritual utterance. When we commune with God, there is an abiding in our heart, in our spirit. In Jesus' name, signing off.